Hey guys, what's up? My name is Pete Breaker, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and fully customize stream alerts for your live stream. Now, this video consists of three parts. In the first one, we're going to look at Streamlabs, which is the biggest and probably most popular software to use for stream alerts. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to integrate Streamlabs alert into OBS Studio. And in the third part, we're going to look at how to fully customize the look, sound and feel of your stream alerts such that they fit your personal style. Now, if you're only interested in a few aspects of this video, then I have left the timestamps to each topic discussed in this video in the description box below, so you can just click on the link and skip ahead to the topic that you're actually interested in. Now, if you have not seen my previous video on how to get the best possible settings with OBS Studio, depending on your upload speed, then I would highly recommend you to check it out. It's now linked in the top right hand corner. But without any further ado, let's jump right into this video. All right, first of all, you want to head to streamlabs.com, click on login to get started. Now you have the choice to log in either to your YouTube account or to your Twitch account. But in today's video, we're only going to look at how to implement stream alerts for Twitch. So we're going to click on login with Twitch. And now you are prompted to insert your username as well as your password. And after that, you're going to have to authorize that Streamlabs is indeed allowed to access your Twitch account. All right. So once you've logged in, what you can see here is the Streamlabs dashboard. And this is actually pretty handy. What you can see is kind of your donations, your followers over a certain period. So right now it's actually selected for a day and you can select, for example, a year. And you can see in the year 2018, I have gained two followers on my test account. Now for today's video, we're actually going to work with widgets. Now Streamlabs has a plethora of different things that you can show on your stream. So you have like a jar that you can show, you can show events, you can show labels, donation tickers. Um, I'm pretty sure there's also goals. Uh, but in today's video, we are simply going to talk about how to customize and implement alert boxes. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to integrate the alert box widget from Streamlabs into OBS Studio. In order to do so, we're going to click on copy. Now in OBS Studio, we're going to right click on the sources tab, click on add, click on browser source. Uh, let's call this stream labs. In the URL, we're going to paste the um, URL that we've just copied from Streamlabs. As a width, I like to choose something like a thousand. And this really depends on the canvas size that you have in OBS Studio. So if you are working with a 2K monitor, you probably want to put this at around thousand. Um, if you're only working with a 1080p monitor, maybe then 800 is already wide enough. Uh, the height I like to put at 700. The FPS you want to put at the value that you are streaming with. So if you're streaming at 60 FPS, obviously you're going to put it at 60. And if you're streaming at 24, you're going to put it at 24. Don't change anything in the CSS tab. And also don't click either of these two boxes. Hit OK. And naturally nothing is actually going to happen now. Um, all you're going to see is this red rectangle. And we're just going to put this somewhere in the middle of our scene. Now, in order to test if this actually worked, if you can see a follow alert or a donation alert pop up in OBS Studio, we're going to go back to Streamlabs. And here you can find buttons that allow you to trigger a test follow, a test subscription, etc. etc. Let's hit test follow, go over to OBS Studio. And as you can see, we have successfully implemented Streamlabs into OBS Studio and we can see a successful test follow. Now, if you're a bit of a lazy person, then you might want to stop already here because what I've shown you now will work for donations, for bits, for followers, for subscribers. All of these alerts will now display on stream. But of course, we are not that lazy and we'd like to customize this a lot. So let's head back into Streamlabs. Now, the first tab here shows you the general settings and the only really important part here is the alert delay setting. What this describes is the time that Streamlabs wait between different alerts. So in order not to actually spam your stream, it will wait um, for the set time here between a next alert is being displayed on stream. And now let's head over to the follower tab. 
Now, these different alerts actually have pretty much the same structure each time. So I'm just gonna go through the details here with the follow alert, and then I'm just gonna show you the different things in the different tabs. First, you can always choose if you'd like to enable or disable the specific alert. So for example, if you're not partnered, you might want to disable the subscription alerts. Then here you can choose the layout. So you can either have the text below an image, the text on top of an image, or the text beside an image. I'm gonna choose the first option. Then you can have a thousand different animations for the text animation once the text is actually being displayed. So you can have something like a rotation, you can have a roll. Um, I pretty much just like to have this in, as fade in and fade out, as I think this looks the most professional, but you might want to have something completely different here. Now the message template shows you what is actually being displayed on your image. So the first part is the name of the person that is following you. So this is in curly braces. And then you have a sentence that is always being shown. So you could also, for example, say, um, just followed. Now, in my case, I'd like to have the name and the just followed on two different lines. So what you can do is you can actually insert HTML code into this message template. So this is um, bracket BR, which indicates a line break. Now, in order to see how this actually looks on stream, we can click on test follow. However, first, we always have to click on save settings. This is very important, otherwise you won't see the changes appear on stream. Et voila, you can see we have speed test with a line break and then just followed. Now, the next thing we can change is a text animation. And this is the animation of the follower that is being displayed on stream. And you can see an example of this animation here to the right. If you click on something, you can see that you have kind of this, this effect here for this follower that have just followed you. And quite frankly, I usually like to leave this to none. Now, obviously, we also want to have a different image. However, we're going to have to provide these images ourselves. And in order to do so, I usually like to go over to jiffy.com and search for something. For example, I've searched for smiley here. Um, by the way, you can click on stickers in order to have transparent images. And I'm going to use this one here because I think it looks really cool. We're going to hit right click and save image as. And we're going to save it as a smile gif. Head over back to Streamlabs. Hit change media. And then we're going to go upload the smile gif. And we're going to double click it. We're going to hit save. And let's have a look how this looks on stream. Voila, we have just successfully implemented a custom GIF into our follow alert. Next, let's see how to get a custom sound for our follow alert. And we're gonna use an example of a video from YouTube that we'd like to convert into a follow alert sound. So for example, I have the CSGO SAS sounds here as a video. And we'd like to use this section here. As a follow alert. Now, in order to do so, what you have to do is you have to get the 4K video downloader. This is probably the best possible program to download and convert YouTube videos. We're gonna copy the link, paste it in the 4K video downloader. Now we're gonna select extract audio and extract the original audio track. Hit extract and open the file location. Now we're gonna use an audio editing program. I'm gonna be using Audacity. Import the clip. Search for the time that we are interested in. So this was 5.17. And I'm assuming it was something like this one here. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot play this uh, bit back because I'm currently recording with Audacity this commentary. So I'm just gonna assume it is actually this part here. I'm gonna press Control X on the keyboard to cut this part out of the clip. We're gonna remove everything else because we don't need it anymore. Press Ctrl V to paste it. And then we wanna export the audio. And now this is really important. You have to export the audio as OGG Vorbis format. Um, Streamlabs only allows OGG format files. So you cannot upload an MP3, for example. And this is actually why I'm showing you this with Audacity, uh, because Audacity allows you to save clips in OGG Vorbis. We're gonna save this as thank you. And now we're gonna import the clip into Streamlabs. 
click on it to see if it's the correct one. You're a champion, Sonny. Let's hit select, hit save settings, and let's test the follow alert. As you can see, we now have a custom image and the custom sound for our alert. However, I'm not actually happy yet. I'd like to customize the text of this as well. So in order to do so, you can go to fun settings down here and you can select either of these 10 million fonts. By the way, you can find these fonts under Google font and you can select either of these fonts here. So you can just look for a nice font that you like. Uh, look for it here. For example, I'm going to use Roboto. We can change the font size as well as the font weight. So this is how thick the font is. I'm going to put this to something like 70. You can change the text color as well as the text highlight color. If you don't want any highlight color, obviously you can just set it to the text color. I'd like to use something a bit bluish, for example, this one. Now, another thing that I like to change is to get rid of the shadow and to make everything uppercase. So I'm going to click on enable custom HTML and CSS. Go to CSS. And now what you can find here under alert text is the text shadow property. We're going to comment that out and we're going to add a text transform uppercase. Now what this does is it will display all of the text in the alert text box as uppercase characters. I'm gonna click save settings, test follow. And as you can see, the speed test is now without any shadow and it is all in uppercase, which suits my theme of having everything in uppercase. Obviously what you want to do here is totally up to you and you can change pretty much anything if you know a little bit of CSS in terms of how the follow alert is going to look on your stream. Now let's move on with the donation alerts. In the beginning we have pretty much the same settings that we had with the follow alert and we're actually going to put this to an uh, image next to a text. But then we also have some donation specific features. For example, we have the ability to read out loud the text of the donation. So I actually don't really like this, but if you like to have this, you can click here on enabled. You can have a minimum amount of donation in order to be read out loud. So for example, you could say, okay, after $10, I'd like to have it read out. And you can also change the language of the voice of the donation. So if you're a German person, then obviously you want to choose German here. Um, or if you're English, you want to choose English, etc, etc. Now the message template is pretty much the same as before. We have in curly braces a placeholder. So name, donated, a certain amount. We don't like a text animation once again. We're going to have to use another image. And I'm going to go into this folder here and use the flying money because that sounds pretty good. Select. And we also like to have a different sound. So for example, nice. nice. And once again, you can change the font of the alert. Uh, you can change the size. You can change the color. Um, not quite sure how we select this one here like that. We're going to do this again, 70 and 900, save, and let's test the alert. Nice. This is a test donation for dollar. All right. And as you can see, because the test donation was around $85, that would have been nice. Uh, it actually is being read out loud. Now, again, I'd like to disable the shadow and put everything to uppercases. Uh, this is highly personal to me but you can change this of course to whatever you'd like to. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually allow or disallow people that donate on your stream to include their own GIFs into the donation message. So for example, if you'd like to have your own image to be displayed there, you must click disable here. And finally, we have the donator message settings. Uh, here again, you can choose a custom font. So we're gonna choose Roboto. You can choose a font size as well as a color and a minimum amount until the message actually shows. And the final thing that we are going to look at here today are bits. Now, once again, you have all of the regular settings here, allow or disallow bits, the layout, the text animation. If the bits are actually being read out loud, we're going to set this to disable. 
um, how the uh, custom message template looks like. Um, we're gonna put this to none once again, and we're gonna change the image to this one here. Um, I actually like the bit sound, so we're just gonna keep this here. You can change the volume if you'd like to, how long it's being displayed. Again, we can select our custom CSS if you'd like to. Actually, we'd like to put this to blue once again. Use Roboto. Also for the message. And let's test the bits. And voila, just like that, we have customized the bits in like two seconds and it actually looks pretty damn cool. All right, so if you've made it this far into the video, then I would like to thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. You guys have been absolutely awesome over the past couple of weeks. I have been growing like crazy and I just wanted to say a huge thank you back to you, the viewers. You guys are amazing. But that's it for today's video. If you still have any questions on how to set up your personal stream alert, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.